How you all doing guys? Brandon here. Welcome back to Retro Dodo. The Retroid Pocket Flip has been officially revealed with specs, pre-order dates, pricings and color variants, which I want to share with you in this video. So it's going to be a news type video, pretty laid back. I just turned the camera on and started talking about any of the latest news. So if this does intrigue you and you enjoy this style, please do let me know in the comments. So what is the Retroid Pocket Flip? For those of you that don't know, Go Retroid have been creating some phenomenal products over the last couple of years. One of them being the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, which is one of my favorite retro handhelds of last year. It's an Android based handheld that can emulate games up to GameCube. Let's say a handful of GameCube games. Now in 2023, they have created a clamshell handheld that they revealed a couple of days ago. And they have now announced new specs, color variants, pricing and pre-order dates, which I want to share with you. So straight off the bat, the handheld looks very, very sleek. They've gone for a high gloss shell, a 4.7 inch display. They've got analog sliders, which I know a lot of you aren't fans of, but there's not really much you can do here because the clamshell needs to well shut. The analog sticks do have L3 and R3 functionality. It will run on Android 11, has 5,000 milliamps of battery, four gigabytes of RAM, and a A75 two gigahertz and a six times A55 at two gigahertz CPU. So this is basically the Unisoc T618 CPU, which they used in their previous handheld. So there's no speed bumps in terms of what it can do over the previous handheld is quite simply comes down to design. So if you're into your clamshell handhelds, this is the one to go for. It comes in a few different colors. They have black, indigo, 16-bit, watermelon, and a sport red. The sport red is a limited edition variant. They're only making 1,500 of these, and I think they will be numbered on each shell. It is a first come, first serve basis, and I think 30 of the 1,500 customers will be in for a chance to win some goodies. I think you can win a Retroid Pocket 3, an 8-bit do controller, screen protectors, cases, and that kind of stuff. So that's nice that they're doing that. I can imagine they'll go very, very quickly. In terms of pricing, the Retroid Pocket 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 Flip will start at around $149 and it will go all the way up to $164. So there doesn't seem to be any kind of power bump or upgrades that you can get to it. It's all the same spec. It comes down to the color variants you want to choose. The most expensive is the Watermelon and Sport Red coming in at $164, but they are doing, if you order in the first week, you get between five and ten dollars off of that price so you know it all comes down to what you want and then you've got the black and the other colors which come to i think around about 149 so in terms of price wise and power it's it's reasonable you know i think in a couple of years that will be deemed as a little bit you know, low powered for the price, but at this moment in time, there's not many competitors doing uh, clamshell handhelds on the market. So this is something I think that will sell like hotcakes. And I think a lot of you need to get on it when the pre-orders go live. Let me double check this. So pre-orders go live on the 21st of March, 9 p.m. EST. Uh, which is March 22nd, 9 a.m. Beijing time, and they will expect to ship around April the 10th. So, you know, from this video upload, that's next week in a few days. So definitely put on your alarms if you want to be one of the first to grab the sports red um, and just get it in the week if you want five to ten dollars off. Now, one thing I have to mention is that Go Retroid have a habit of releasing new handhelds and new colors just weeks after they release their new handheld. They had this issue with the Retroid Pocket 3, they released that, then six weeks later, they released the Plus, which was more powerful and like 10 or $20 more, which was very unprofessional. It wasn't respected by the community, but um, they have messaged us on Twitter saying this won't happen again, but just, 
take that with a pinch of salt. And last time as well, I think a few months after they released the basic colors, they revealed new transparent colors as well. I know they have the watermelon transparent color already on day one, but I won't be surprised if in a few months after the uh, release in April, they will have new transparent colors. So if you don't like the colors, I recommend waiting a couple of months to see if they launch anything else. Um, these, I think, you know, would I buy this? Yes, I think, you know, Go Retroid are one of the best uh, handheld emulator manufacturers on the market at the moment. They, they price their um, products reasonably. It's just the issue of, you know, launching products quickly after because uh, on our podcast, actually we did, we filmed a podcast with Bob and he, Bob Wolf, if you don't know him, he's a very popular YouTuber. And he actually said that you'll be surprised a lot of these companies do struggle because they only make profit off of the hardware, whereas companies like Steam Deck and Nintendo make most of their profit off of software. And that's probably why they like to release handhelds left, right and center. So just keep that in mind. Um, and I will be getting one in for review as quickly as possible. So do subscribe if you want to see that. And don't forget to take a look at our new book, which is coming out at the end of the year called A Handheld History 88 to 95. We're currently in crowdfunding. We've hit 50%. So uh, we need all the support we can to make this a reality. It's a beast of a book about handhelds. So check the links below. And again, if you like these types of news videos, I'm more than happy to make them more often. So just comment below and hopefully I can, I can do more for you. So yeah, a little news update for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.